Hello, welcome to English for Everyone. Today we're going to talk about three confusing words. My students make mistakes with these a lot, so we're going to look at the pronunciation and the meaning and practice. Recipe, receipt, and prescription. Let's get started. The first word is recipe. We're going to pronounce all the letters. It's three syllables, recipe, and a recipe is cooking instructions. This is one recipe. I can have two recipes. It's countable. So, there are a lot of good recipes in the cookbook. Pronunciation of recipe. R, R, E, R, R, S, R, S, A, R, S, A, R, S, A, P, R, S, A, R, S, A, E, recipe, recipe. Put the stress on the first syllable. Recipe, recipe, recipe. Let's practice. Are there a lot of good recipes in the cookbook? Yes, there are a lot of good recipes in the cookbook. Are there a lot of good recipes in the cookbook? Very good. The next word is receipt. And remember, with receipt, the P is silent. Don't pronounce the P. Receipt. So, the receipt is the piece of paper that shows that you paid. It's countable. One receipt, two receipts. We use possession, my receipt. They ask you in the store, would you like your receipt? Yes, I would like my receipt. Pronunciation, receipt. R, R. E, R. S, res, e, receipt, t, receipt, receipt. Use a stop T, put your tongue up, receipt. Not receipt, but receipt. Receipt. The stress is on the second syllable. Receipt. 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 Let's practice. Would you like your receipt? Yes, I need my receipt, please. Here you go. Thanks. Would you like your receipt? Here you go. Prescription. It's a noun. A prescription is countable. One prescription, two prescriptions. So if you are sick and you need medicine, the doctor will write a prescription. He will give you your prescription. Then you go to the pharmacy and you pick up your prescription. And that is the medicine. So the medicine is prescription and the note, the paper, is a prescription. So, I went to the pharmacy to pick up my prescription. Because the doctor gave me a prescription. Pronunciation, prescription. Er, per, a, uh, pro, pro, s, pros, pros, k, prusk, er, prusker, i, prusgri, prusgri, p, prusgrip, prusgrip, sh. Prescription, prescription, a prescription, prescription, m prescription, prescription, prescription. The stress is on the second syllable. Script, prescription, prescription, prescription. Let's practice. Did the doctor give you a prescription? Yes, the doctor gave me a prescription. Did you go to the pharmacy to pick up your prescription? Yes, I went to the pharmacy to pick up my prescription. Did the doctor give her a prescription? Did she go to the pharmacy to pick up her prescription? Very good. We use prescription for glasses too. He has problems seeing. He cannot see very well, so he goes to the eye doctor 
and he gets a prescription. He buys special glasses. These are called prescription glasses because you need a doctor to buy them. So now it's an adjective. He has prescription glasses. Let's practice. Does he need prescription glasses? Yes, he needs prescription glasses. Do you have prescription glasses? Yes, I have prescription glasses. Does he need prescription glasses? Does she have prescription glasses? Very good. And the verb or action for a prescription is prescribe. When the doctor writes a note for the medicine, he prescribes the medicine. You cannot buy antibiotics without a prescription. So the doctor needs to prescribe antibiotics. Pronunciation, prescribe. P, er, per, uh, pr, pr. Very close sound, uh, uh, pr. S, pris, pris. K, prisk. Er, prisker. I, prescry. Prescry. B, prescribe. Prescribe. The stress is on the second syllable. Prescribe. 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 In the past, prescribed. 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 Let's practice. Did you go to the doctor last week? Yes, I went to the doctor last week. What did he prescribe? He prescribed antibiotics. Did she go to the doctor last week? What did he prescribe? Very good. So remember the different pronunciations and uses of these words. Recipe, receipt, and prescription. Hello, welcome to English for Everyone. Today we're looking at the pronunciation of these four similar words. Hassle, hustle, hostile, hostile. Let's take a look. Hassle is a long, difficult process, and it is countable, so we say a uh, for one. A uh, hassle. Doing your taxes can be a hassle. Pronunciation, hassle. <sighs> ah, ha, open sound, ah. Ha, s, has, uh, has, uh, l, hassle, hassle. Stress on the first syllable, hassle, hassle. Let's practice. When you say it's a hassle, if you want to give emphasis, we say a big. It's a big hassle. Is doing your taxes a big hassle? Yes, doing my taxes is a big hassle. Is doing your taxes a big hassle? Very good. Hustle. Hustle is a verb. It's an action. It means to move fast. They need to hustle to win the game. Let's hustle. Sometimes you can hear it as a noun. Let's see some hustle out there. It's used especially with sports. So they need to hustle to win the game. Pronunciation, hustle. <sighs> uh, huh. Relax, close the sound. Huh, huh. S, hus, hus. Uh, hussa, hussa. Oh, hustle, hustle. Stress on the first syllable. Huh, huh. Hustle, hustle, hustle. Do they need to hustle to win the game? Yes, they need to hustle to win the game. Do they need to hustle to win the game? Very good. Hostile. Hostile is an adjective. It's a description. His boss is always angry. He's always yelling at him. So that makes it a hostile work environment. He works in a hostile environment. That's a good pronunciation. Pronunciation, hostile. <sighs> open sound, ah. Relax, but open. Ha. S, has. T, hast. 
a hasta. So the first sound is open, ha. The second vowel is closed, a hasta. O hostile, hostile. Don't be hostile. Hostile. Is he in a hostile work environment? Yes, he is in a hostile work environment. Is he in a hostile work environment? Very good. Hostile. Hostile is a noun and it's countable, so we say a, a hostile. A hostile is similar to a hotel. You stay there, but you don't get a room, you rent one bed in a shared space. This is a hostel. I stayed in a hostel in Europe. Hostel. <sighs> a, ha, s, has, t, host, a, hosta, hosta, o, hostel, hostel. I stayed in a hostel in Europe. Hostel. Have you ever stayed in a hostel? No, I've never stayed in a hostel. Have you ever stayed in a hostel? Very good. So remember the pronunciation. Hassle, you see the letter A, it's open sound, A. Ah, hassle. Hustle, the T is silent, the U makes the uh, uh, relaxed sound, hus, hustle. Hostile and hostile sound exactly the same. We have the open, short O, ah, and we pronounce the T, hostile, hostile. Same pronunciation. Hello, welcome to English for Everyone. Today we're going to learn and practice with the three pronunciations of words ending in EW. We have these three words, few, new, and so. Let's take a closer look. With the word new, we see the most common pronunciation of EW. It's pronounced oo. The long oo sound like food and moon. Pronunciation, new. Not new, but Ooh, new. Example, new shoes. Or New York. Let's practice. Does he have a new car? That's right, he has a new car. Other examples, chew and chewy. Chew is a verb, it's an action. And chewy is an adjective, it's a description. Example, the dog likes to chew on the shoes. Let's practice. Does the dog like to chew on the shoes? That's right, the dog likes to chew on the shoes. Or the adjective chewy makes the oo sound. Chew e together chewy. So example, you have chewy granola bars or crunchy granola bars. I prefer chewy granola bars. What about you? Do you prefer chewy granola bars or crunchy granola bars? Very good. We also have verbs in the past, like fly in the present, in the past flew. That's right, not flew, but flew. It's the oo sound, the long oo, flew. In the present fly, in the past flew. If I ask a question, I say, where did he fly? And I answer with the past, he flew to New York. He flew to New York. Let's practice. Where did he fly? Did he fly to New York? That's right, he flew to New York. Or the verb blow in the past, blue. That's right, just like the color blue, the pronunciation is the same. In the present, blow, in the past, blue. Example, the wind blew down the tree. Let's practice. What happened? Did the wind blow down the tree? That's right, the wind blew down the tree. Other verbs in the past, grow in the past, grew. Example, the flowers grew very well in the garden. Let's practice. Did the flowers grow very well in the garden? That's right, the flowers grew very well in the garden. And the verb, draw, in the past, drew. In the present, draw, in the past, drew. Example, he drew a picture of a dinosaur. Let's practice. Did he draw a picture of a dinosaur? 
That's right. He drew a picture of a dinosaur and the verb throw. In the past, through, making the long oo sound, through. Example, he threw the ball. Let's practice. Did he throw the ball? That's right. He threw the ball. Example, crew. Crew is a noun. It's a group of workers. A group of workers is a crew. It's countable, so I have to say a, a crew. Example, there's a crew of workers in the building. Let's practice. Is there a crew of workers in the building? That's right. There's a crew of workers in the building. The word stew. Stew is a kind of soup. It usually has beef, potatoes, and other vegetables. Pronunciation, stew, using the long oo sound, stew. Example, they're eating beef stew. Let's practice. What are they eating? Are they eating beef stew? Very good. I love beef stew. What do you think? Do you like beef stew? Very good. And we have the word brew, using the long oo sound, brew. Brew can be a verb or a noun. Example, when you make coffee, the verb is brew. You brew coffee. Or if you make tea, you can brew tea. We also use this word for beer. When they make beer, they brew beer. So brew can be a verb. Example, he's brewing coffee. Let's practice. Is he brewing some coffee? That's right, he's brewing coffee. Or brew can be a kind of coffee. Example, cold brew is a kind of cold coffee. Example, they sell cold brew at Starbucks. Let's practice. Do they sell cold brew coffee at Starbucks? That's right, they sell cold brew coffee at Starbucks. And we have the word screw. Example, he has a screwdriver and some screws. Let's practice. Does he have a screwdriver and some screws? That's right. He has a screwdriver and some screws. Example, cashew. Using the long oo sound, cashew. A cashew is a kind of nut. We don't say cashew nuts. We just say cashews. One cashew, two cashews. These are cashews. I don't like cashews. Do you like cashews? Very good. Example, mildew. That's right, not mildew, but mildew. Ooh. We're using the most common pronunciation of EW at the end. Ooh, mildew. Mildew is a kind of mold. It grows in your shower. Example, he's trying to clean the mildew off his shower. Let's practice. What is he doing? Is he trying to clean the mildew off his shower? That's right. He's trying to clean the mildew off his shower. Example, Jewish. Making the long oo, Jew, Jewish. Jewish is a description for the religion. These are Jewish people. Jewish is a description. It's an adjective describing the people. These are Jewish people. Let's practice. Are these Jewish people? That's right. These are Jewish people. Now let's talk about the word few. This word uses the y, y, u sound like you. Together, f, few. Few. Not many. Two or three or four. A few. Example, he has a few dollars. Let's practice. Does he have a few dollars? That's right, he has a few dollars. Example, nephew. Again, making the y, y, u sound. Nephew. My brother is married and he has a son. My brother's son is my nephew. And my brother has a daughter. My brother's daughter is my niece. So I have a niece and nephew. Pronunciation, nephew. I have a nephew. What about you? Do you have a nephew? Very good. Let's look at the word pew, making the 
U sound. Pew is countable. A pew. A pew is a bench in a church. They're sitting in a pew. It's one countable noun. Let's practice. Are they sitting in a pew in church? That's right. They're sitting in a pew in church. This is a skewer, making the y y u sound. Skew, skewer, skewer is countable. This is a skewer. They're cooking on the skewer. Let's practice. Are they cooking on the skewer? That's right. They're cooking on the skewer. Example: curfew, making the y y u sound. Curfew. Curfew. Curfew is a time when you cannot be on the streets. If there is a curfew, that means you cannot be outside your house after a certain time. Example: There's a ten o'clock curfew. That means you cannot be outside of your house after ten o'clock. There's a curfew. Let's practice. Is there a ten o'clock curfew? That's right. There's a ten o'clock curfew. And the last sound is o. That's right. This word is pronounced so. The e w makes the long o sound, like no and grow. So, so is a verb. He is sewing on the sewing machine. So is the action. Example: He knows how to sew. I don't know how to sew, but he knows how to sew. Let's practice. Does he know how to sew? That's right. He knows how to sew. Example: She knows how to sew. I don't know how to sew, but she knows how to sew. Let's practice. Does she know how to sew? That's right. She knows how to sew. What about you? Do you know how to sew? Very good. The action sew in the past is sewed. That's right. It's pronounced with the long o, sewed, plus the d sound connected together. Sewed, owed, sewed. She sewed a dress. She sewed a beautiful dress. Let's practice. Did she sew a dress? Did she sew a beautiful dress? That's right. She sewed a beautiful dress. And the participle is sewn, with the long o sound. Sewn. Sewn is a participle we use with have or has. I have never sewn anything because I don't know how to sew. She has sewn many things because she knows how to sew. What about you? Have you ever sewn anything? Very good. So remember, when you have e w at the end of the word, you have three possible pronunciations. The most common is u, like nu, but sometimes you have the pronunciation u, like few, and the least common is the long o, like so. Thanks for watching, and if you like this video, subscribe to our channel, and if you want to become a member, click the join button, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.